Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'll be looking at two small productivity updates within Google Docs. So let's dive into it. And as you can see in this document, I'm preparing for a Google training. Now this is a brainstorm document and I'd like to have a couple of highlighted points that I want to cover and then I also want to suggest some dates to colleagues. Now the first thing we'll have a look at is this first line here where it says possible topics to be covered. Now what I'm going to use is one of the new features within Google Docs and that is the checklists. So here at the top you'll see we now have not just the bulleted list and the numbered list, we have an additional option next to it and that is the checklist. Now a checklist is different from a bulleted list because you can tick it off. So let's have a look at this. We're going to start a checklist, first possible topic, managing devices. Okay, we're going to add a second topic there. We're also going to discuss the Chrome browser. And we're going to look at some apps in the classroom. Now, the great thing about checklists is as things have been prepared or covered, you can tick these off. Now, as soon as I click on that, it gets crossed out. Everyone is made aware that this has been finished. This part of the brainstorm session is complete. I can also untick this and that means it needs more work. So checklists are incredibly useful whenever you're working on a doc. Now the second update has to do with dates. Now we've already discussed the smart chips that are coming to Google Docs in a previous video. I link it in the cards at the top. But another thing that Google is allowing us to insert now is dates. And I really love using this. So let's see what that looks like in action. I'm going to start typing first session and then I'm going to suggest a date. So here I'm going to go to insert at the top and now I can select date. And when I insert a date, that calendar view pops up and I can select any of these dates. So let's suggest next Thursday. It automatically inserts the date as a smart chip and then we can continue. I'm also going to say second session and let's suggest a different date. We're going to go to insert date. And let's go to the following month and let's suggest a Thursday in August. There we go. Now what makes these special is that as you hover over these dates, let's say a collaborator or an editor on this document hovers over the date, they can now book this. So you can see they can book a meeting and when they click on book meeting, it automatically opens up their calendar. It automatically fills in and pre-populates this date and we can then schedule this. So this is an incredibly useful feature. It's a type of smart chip that can be used within your documents. So these two small updates to Google Doc, the insert date and the checklists will really impact how you use Google Docs for brainstorming and collaborative documents. Now, I hope you found this helpful. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. For even more tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel or watch the suggested video on your screen right now. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.